welcome back to the channel. Um, I hope you all checked out the vlog that I just posted recently. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it and liked it. I did mention that I was going to do some unboxing for you um, when I get a new scrubs and I just got some scrubs in the mail. So I figured I'll just do an unboxing real quick. Um, and maybe, just maybe, I'll try them on for you guys. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please subscribe, like the video, give it a thumbs up if you like it. Um, and let's just jump right into it. These are the Jade pair. I don't know, what do you think? They are the Jade and the Slate. I absolutely love them. They are perfect for summer, going into fall, um, and you can really wear those colors all year round, so I absolutely love them. Um, I'm studying for boards, so um, I'm just trying to post as much as I possibly can for you all, and yeah, I hope you're all enjoying your you know a month and all that um yeah i will see you guys in the next video Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. We are here reporting live. I am trying, attempting to study. Um, this is not easy. It's really, really not. I have super bad, like, anxiety, insomnia, like, ADHD, depression, like, I'm all over the place, but um, it's doable. This is doable. We can do this. We're going to do this. Um, mental health is real. Um, and I wish that I honestly didn't delete all of like my mental health episodes that I've posted and like took down because I was so freaking embarrassed and like ashamed to like put myself out there on you know a platform on social media but i'm over that like this is real just because you know you have to fit in societal norms and like be this you know professional dental hygienist or professional person no matter what you do as a profession like you have feelings you go through emotional roller coasters like this is real um i'm not being dramatic okay um i just want to live a simple life and honestly this is like not simple um societal norms are real like you have to kind of keep leveling up and you know getting higher and higher higher up on the bar right this is like what we're programmed to believe and to think but um you know coming back from Colombia and seeing that you know it's just okay to live with just food on your table appreciating nature appreciating people um appreciating just life and um i'm just grateful um for having the opportunity uh to live in such a fortunate country um and kind of feel and see the difference i'm kind of just like babbling right now because i'm like in my thoughts and i'm just mind blown right now but um this is what i'm feeling and this is what i'm experiencing right now and i used to be so ashamed to talk about it um but 
I'm just not going to be ashamed anymore. Like, this is why I put myself on YouTube in the beginning um, was to express myself and to use this as an, a platform, an outlet to share my experiences with people, um, women mainly, that are um, feeling and experiencing the same things that I'm feeling and experiencing. Um, so, yeah, it's okay to you know, just be in your feels. It's okay. And I do strongly believe that this Metro, um, what is it? Metro, they get Metro North, um, Mercury retrograde, um, is real and yeah, I'm bugging, but listen to your gut, the energy, the vibes, like I believe in all that shit and it's real. And, um, anyways, let's get it let's do it um let's fight the wave of just negativity and overcome and conquer so with that being said let's continue the vlog what is up so i am currently vlogging um so if you guys saw the video that i posted <laughs> i am not one to be wearing makeup like makeup is just not for me um can you say hi makeup is just not for me um i tried it's just not my thing um but i hope you enjoyed the look um the look of lashes oh my god so i officially started um like officially officially started studying today and it's been like hell it's been hell like trying to loop yourself back into the process of studying is just it's like a demon within itself but um we're we're gonna make it we're gonna get through it right you know mommy oh my god peter bed dog in a whole wide world yeah you are yeah you are Good morning. What is up? Today is a new day and um, I am making my coffee and then I will be on my way to work. Um, it's a new day. Let's get through it. Let's kick ass and yeah. Hey everyone. So I just actually got home from work and this is how I look when I get out of work. I look crazy and just ready for bed. Ready for bed. And we're back. Hey guys, I know I look freaking crazy. I look absolutely absurd. Um, but I am actually heading to work soon and I figured I'd just film a quick, um, I guess get ready for me, get ready for me, get ready with me before work. Um, and I'm doing this vlog, like I'm just filming, so I don't know, maybe I'll put this in a vlog. I'm not sure. But um for those for those who don't know, um, uh, or for those who have not seen my video, previous video, um, or my vlog where I talk about like my skin and my eyes, whatever, um, I have really like dark circles underneath my eyes so i'm always putting like eye makeup as far as concealer um mascara like to kind of wake my eyes up um so long story short i um i have really sensitive skin like I don't really wear makeup. I rarely ever wear makeup. But for work, I feel like I need to wear makeup because I don't want to look like a complete, you know, zombie talking to my patients. So I've been reading more and more about like skincare and um, about the body and stuff like that. Like I've always been somewhat conscious of like um, what I, you know, put on my face. But you know, I've never really been conscious of the fact that, you know, you kind of are what you eat. Like, yeah, I know that. But have I ever really practiced, you know, that method, right? Um, 
So I feel like I've been eating a lot of like shit um, lately. And um, I was reading up on like a, a gluten-free diet and like, you know, just seeing all these options. I've been breaking out and I have like these breakouts um, for a while and um, they just tend to scar and I've been having like these breakouts on my arms, which I find, you know, really bizarre. So I've been doing some re research and um, like I don't know if you can somewhat see, like you see these little things there. I don't know if it's because of the weather, like it's summertime right now, but um, I honestly, like the older you get, it's like, it's so true. You start to notice things that just never existed before. Like they just start to come about and exist. Um, but I was doing my research and reading up on things and Honestly, it's really what you're putting into your body, like what you're feeding your body. And I was also reading that um, dehydration, like I drink water, but obviously I'm not drinking enough of water, enough water. So um, the fact that I'm not drinking enough water, I'm really, really stressed. Like I think my stress levels too are playing a huge part into why um I'm just like not feeling myself. Um, but those two, like, I feel are really affecting my health completely. Um, you know, the drastic change in my schedule, things like that. So I just, I really have been, you know, I mentioned in my last vlog that I was trying to be more conscious of my body. And it's like, I'm so like, not prepared, you know, to take those fitness steps. Like I remember when I was so much younger, I would just literally get up, go to the gym and start like right where I left off. And it was like, I never left. Now, like being older, you know, I just think you're a little more, you know, insecure. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I need to get my ass like in the gym um, and be like more proactive um, with my body. So that's what I have been trying to focus on as far as um, that goes. I just feel like the older you get, the harder it is to kind of pick up where you left off. I don't know why, I just find it to be super difficult. Um, guys, I don't really know how to apply makeup. So if you see me like just dabbling and yapping, like look at this shit, please no judgment. No judgment here, okay? But anyway, um, so that's really where I've been as far as that goes. I'm just, I don't know. Summer is really just not my, my season. And I think it's mostly mainly because I'm just never summer ready. Um... Like, I'm not really one to, like, wear revealing clothes anyway, but the whole fact, like, with the whole dresses and all that, I don't know. Like, I'm not the best with that kind of, like, attire, I guess. I don't know. Um, but anyway... So like with work, I kind of just try to keep, dude, I, I never switch up like my makeup routine. I literally wear the same exact shadow, same exact concealer. Like I'm always doing the same thing just because it's easy and I'm not really 
you know, that much of a makeup girl. Um, but I just give it to those women that can literally wear something different every single day. Like, no. <laughs> That's not me. I mean, also with this career, like, I mean, you can kind of, you know, I feel like nowadays jobs, employers are more lenient. Um, but like, you kind of want your patient to take you serious. And sometimes I feel like patients are, you know, they want to know like, the kind of I don't know clinician you are it's it's a hard field it's not like the easiest field to be in sometimes I feel a little out of place like I just got my nails done and I'm kind of like always trying to kind of hide them which I shouldn't have to hide my nails but you know ready for work day it's like once I'm at work I'm good I like getting ready it just getting ready for work is like bummer literally it sucks who likes getting ready for work? Not I. Not I. Ugh. So, um, anyway. What else can we chit chat about? Oh I'm not really a blush girl, but Apparently blush kind of lifts up your face. Like I'm just hearing about this now. Why? Why am I just hearing about it now? Makeup really does a difference really makes a difference um no, what i was gonna say just getting ready for work like not that you have to go glam to work but looking presentable is key. I really strongly believe that I'm allergic to my mascara. Um, I don't know why. Maybe I gotta do like some, I don't know, like the older you get, it's like you're so sensitive to everything. I'm literally sensitive to food, sensitive to makeup, it's awful. It's awful. Um, I gotta do like clean makeup, clean products in my body. That's what I need to do. And speaking of which, um, I might go to the supermarket. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go to the supermarket. 
I'm going to the supermarket after work. So, if you haven't gone to Trader Joe's, if you're into Trader Joe's, please comment down below. I absolutely love Trader Joe's. Like, I don't know if it's just like the design of the supermarket. I just think it's like the cutest supermarket. Um, anyways, I'm done getting ready. So this is pretty much it. This is the final look. Um, I try to keep it simple. I just, I feel like this is presentable and patients like will enjoy actually speaking to me. Um, because I don't look like a dead boy zombie. So, um, yeah, I hope you're enjoying this vlog. Ooh, let's put my hair up because I hate my hair when it's in my face. So usually I'm good with a coffee, um, like right before work. It gives me energy. I know it's not healthy, but I'm usually okay with that and it'll hold me off. Um, today I am going to make a smoothie. So, maybe, maybe not. should I make some eggs? Mm, I love bread, fuck that, no bread. It's the pita bread for me. Well, I would rather something much more fun, but we don't have that today. So I'm gonna use some mango chunks some pineapple i have here some coconut milk um it's vanilla flavored um what else we'll throw in a banana um and yeah let's do it so i suffer from like really bad um constipation or um let's just say indigestion so I go ahead and I put some chia seeds in there. Um, so let's do it. I think that's good. Okay. That looks like a cup. Okay, so I'm really bad at measuring, by the way, so you see me not measure correctly, whatever. Then I'm gonna put a banana. It looks like really black, but I love my bananas like this. They're nice and sweet. Um, see, there's no black on it. So, it's nice and sweet. Um, some of this. And I'm going to put some almond butter just to kind of give it a smooth texture. This thing, if it comes out like a smoothie bowl, that's what it's gonna be. It's gonna be a smoothie bowl. Oh. It's looking like it's gonna come out like a smoothie bowl. I'm not quite the chef, but I'll make you a good smoothie. So as I am here turning on my coffee machine, put some chia seeds up in there, um, and I'll put one more thing of pineapple, and then we'll get to blending. I'm a mess. Can you relate when you try to be healthy and you're just a mess? Like, it's crazy because I used to be so good and now I'm just so fat and I don't give a shit. But I'm trying. Okay. Well, only starts with one smoothie. So let's see. Let's 
see, I knew it was gonna come out like this. It literally, this is not smoothie. It's delicious though. Mm. All right, so this right here is like a one of those bowls. And I'm obsessed. Mm. And I'm gonna make it into a bowl. This will kind of be my dinner. Oh, kind of heavy. Mmm. Delicious. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. There goes the mess we were looking for. Holy crap. <laughs> I show you. My God. So welcome back. We made it. We're at work um, currently. I restocked my drawers. So. of the day did not show so hey everyone welcome back to my bathroom um i'm actually going to go to the what do you call it i'm just getting dressed okay so today i'm actually um putting on foundation never mind this like Never mind that, I just got out the shower so it's wet, etc. Um, I don't have like the plastic thing to, anyway, I don't need to explain myself. So I'm actually attempting foundation today. So let me turn some light on to see if this is better. Better, okay. Close this, should I close this? Yeah, we'll close it. Put that down. <laughs> what is up so today i'm actually doing a foundation um i picked up this anastasia foundation i have them in two shades 130n and 230n i don't know what that means but um got some on my phone because i am a rookie um anyway what's up how's everyone doing um i'm not a foundation person but um I see like on TikTok this girl like literally just spreads her foundation like so puts it all around her face. I make a mess, clearly. So I actually bought this Anastasia brush. Um guys don't judge me. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, what's up? What's happening? So let me fill you in on this new location that I'm working at. Um, for like my fellow hygiene girls that just graduated um, and just hygiene people that graduated. When I mean hygiene girls, I'm not being specific to only females. I'm being like specific to my girls that I actually graduated with because some of them watch my vlogs so um yeah i just wanted to ask like how it's been for you like are you working in offices that require you to like produce um you know make production like are do you guys get bonuses if so like how does your bonus work so i'm gonna share with you my experience um with the office that i'm actually working for now so i was working i started working in an office um close to my house right um 
and this office was pretty much like production based office what does that mean so like they would you know we would do a lot of arresting a lot of arresting um we would do like fluoride on every single patient and when i first started in this office in my in in this office when i first started there um i was kind of like I only use Arrestin if, you know, SRP hasn't worked um, or like, you know, you're evaluating the pockets, right? So like, this is, this is my mentality, like fresh out of dental hygiene school. So then I was trained by them and it was pretty much like, no, you can place Arrestin while you're doing your SRP. So I started, you know, doing the arrest in whatever, like while I would do SRP only of course, if I thought it would benefit the patient or if the patient, you know, can use it. So this office that I previously worked out was pretty much like really about making goal, right? Um, they're renovating the place. Like this is making goal, making money office. Um, so then they transferred me to an office that it's the same owner, right? But it's the same owner, but it was previously sold. Like it's a year and a half that the new owner owns the place. And it's the same owner as the production um production office is so what does that mean they transferred me there and they want me to implement right they want me to do pretty much the same thing that i was doing in the previous office they want me to bring that over to this office this new office that i'm at currently right so I'm like, okay, I'll do that. Little do I know, mind you, keep in mind, I'm doing this with patients that I think can benefit from fluoride, can benefit from Arrestin. Sorry, my, I need to line my lips because they look non-existent. Not like the nude helps much, but listen to this. I need some advice from my dental hygiene people. What do I do if, you know, these doctors know that I'm new, right? He sold his practice. Okay, so this guy, okay, so this dentist that sold his practice, he's still in the office, like working there. So, you know, it's very hard for me to, you know, plan treatment when you have a man or a dentist, excuse me, you have a dentist who his patients have been with him for, you know, maybe 20 years, you know. Um, so now the fact that the fact that this is, you know, current events, I had an incident where this patient, I thought, you know, they could have used Arrestin. Long story short, he said, no, I think it's an endo problem. I don't think the Arrestin is going to do anything. Mind you, I offered her the Arrestin because I'm like, hey, it's a, you know, antibiotic. I think... You know it could it could help long story short he disagreed right that okay I it's an endo problem like you know you have more experience than me I get it I didn't disagree I said fine no arresting so then there was a patient who she's 23 years old she had some um, 
she had some incipient decay. Um, she had some decay, re, re, recurring decay. And she had some decay in between eight and nine, right? So she had some decay in between her front teeth. So I tell him, I was like, do you think this patient's a high caries risk? Like I'm, I'm, mind you, I'm not, you know, I'm not doing it to question him or, you know, insult his intelligence or anything like that. No, I'm doing it because I'm new. I'm learning and I'm trying to see like, you know, kind of get a grasp of where his head is at, you know, like, what are we, are we looking at the same thing? So long story short, he's like, no, I don't think this patient is high caries. I think we should monitor for another six months. And I was like, okay, well, do you think we should do, I didn't say, do you think, I was like, you know, what do you, I don't know, something along the lines of fluoride, but he's like, oh, before I even got to the fluoride, he was just like, I don't think this patient's, I don't want to put this patient on a strong fluoride um, treatment. So in my head, I'm like, oh, okay, no problem. I can tell off the bat that he's very conservative, which I absolutely love, okay? Because when I first got out of dental hygiene school, I also was very hesitant on putting a resin on just any patient, right? Um, and, you know, I just don't think it's ethical. I don't think it's right to just put a resin on any patient. Um, so after the fact, after the fact of me, um, well, at, when the day was over, I pretty much went up to the doctor and I was like, listen, you know, I appreciate your conservative approach. Like I'm not, you know, I'm still learning, you know, thank you for your honesty, whatever. Um, but here's the catch. So the catch is that they're doing, so like the regional manager, um, who pretty much like oversees all of the owner's offices. She's doing like um, some kind of evaluation where she evaluates like the clinicians, whatever the providers and um, the assistants. Like, I guess we get to, you know, speak our minds on how we feel. How do we think we're doing as far as, you know, our work ethic so on and so forth. So I am 100% aware of the fact that I am going to be told like, hey, Talia, um, you know, you're not producing or you're not, you know, or what do you think of the office? Like, right, they want some kind of feedback. So my thing is, I'm gonna say, hey, I am doing my part, but if the dentist is not backing me up, right? In the sense like he's not wanting to go on with treatment, I can't do nothing about that, right? Um, the arrest in part, I totally agreed with the doctor, but then, then you have patients that are like, hey, I want Invisalign, and the, do the doctor's like, Mm, why are you going to do Invisalign? Like, I don't think you need it. Blah, 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 blah. So I kind of just want your opinion. Like, I totally agree with the fact that you can't um, push treatment on a patient that, you know, obviously they don't need. I don't think that's ethical. I agree with that. But also, it's like, if a patient wants something right if a patient is like yeah i want invisalign or you know they're with the treatment i don't really see where the problem is you know as far as why not proceed with treatment you know what i'm saying like it's that fine line of 
well what do i do and you know like i don't know i don't want to step on anyone's toes i don't want to do that but it's like my manager the regional manager that manages the office she's expecting you know she expects something from me and my responsibility as a clinician um our responsibility as clinicians is to work ethically, right? Um, so I'm like, I don't know, that's the drama, the tea. It's not really drama, but it's like the tea right now that I'm kind of dealing with. And I remembered like, you know, in the previous office I worked at, there was a lot of, um, you know, just we need to sell, we need to sell, we need to sell, we need to sell. And that kind of, like, it was a lot of pressure for me, you know, as a newly grad, you know, like, I'm not here to sell, you know, I'm here to treat patients. But I also got the opportunity to learn from both sides of the coin. Like, you know, you can, you can, um, you know, sell Invisalign as like a cosmetic procedure but you know as far as treatment goes like I'm not just gonna just sell shit that I don't think a patient needs listen I'm going off on a tangent what do you guys think like what's your advice to me you know it's something that I'm dealing with it's something that I know a lot of hygienists you know when they're very new to hygiene I guess they deal with um every office is different like I've heard absolute horror stories of like um offices that expect hygienists to sell you know toothbrushes and all this type of craziness to patients like I'm not you know I'm, I'm not about that life like I don't want to be in an office that is you know, obviously, like, hey, you have to sell toothbrushes, you have to sell, you know, water picks and blah, blah, blah. But I'm also in an office where Invisalign, I'm for it. I'm for it. You know, um, Arrestin, I'm for it. Chlorhexidine, I'm for it. You know, I'm, I'm for selling these products that I know can benefit patients. But when it's like a dentist that, you know, Kind of doesn't agree I don't I don't know like that's more conservative and like the owners of the practice are more like you need to sell you need to sell um I don't know like I don't know let me know what you guys think something that I've been kind of like somewhat dealing with um and I'm also like studying for tests like I'm just my head is kind of you know, somewhat everywhere right now. And I just, I don't know, I wanna know what you guys think. Yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.